Hello everyone, this is Leo from Generates Press and Generates Blocks. In the previous video, I demonstrated how to create a content template like this and apply it to our posts loop. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to apply a unique content template for each category so you can create this mixed style blog page if you wish. Let's get started. We will begin with a default block page with three columns and masonry option activated. Next, let's go to dashboard, plugins, and make sure we're using GP Premium version 2.0 alpha 3 or above. Let's also take a quick look at the categories. So here I've created dining, summer, and winter with some posts in each category. Now we are ready to configure the elements. I've already created three content template elements without setting a display rule, which is why you're not seeing them here yet. Now let's open up the global content template. We will apply this element to all posts, then add block and post category archive to the display rule. Click update. Now let's take a look. You can see that the global content template is now applied to the blog page and the category archives. Let's head back to elements, refresh the page so we can see the location rule updated. Now let's open up the summer content template. For this content template, we want to apply to post with term, set a specific category. We will go with summer. And here we can choose a parent element. This is used as a fallback rule and it will inherit the display rules from the content element you selected. So if we select global content template here, it will use the same display rules that we've set here. And you will see that when we choose a parent element, the display rule of the child element is removed. Let's update and take a look. So now the summer category posts have its own layout. And because it inherits the parent content template display rules, this will also apply to category archives. Let's head back to element. Refresh the page so we can see the updated location. Now let's do another one. Open up the dining content template. This one is a simple layout with no feature image. We will apply again to posts with term, a category, dining. And again, we will select a parent element, global content template. Again, the display rule is removed. Update. Let's take a look. So now the dining categories have its own layout, same as summer and winter.
Let's head back to element and refresh the page. It's also worth noting that you can add multiple terms and separate them by a comma if you want the content template to apply to multiple terms. The display order option is for importance, with zero being the most important element. So if I have dining and summer as the term name and display order zero, update, and this one has just summer, display order of one, then this element actually won't show in the front page as it's less important. That's it for this video. Hopefully you find it useful.